Schultz met with our mayor to map out future plans. And as Kendra Sogoski reports, the meeting marks the repair of a strained relationship between Alberta's big cities and the province. <laughs> Behind closed doors, Edmonton's leader and Alberta's new leader tackle a day's worth of topics in an hour. Really uh, exceptional meeting. It could have been a disaster. Last week, Mayor Don Iveson blasted the province for treating its big cities like children. Venting Jim Prentice was the only PC candidate who didn't reach out to him. Well, thank goodness all that's behind us now. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, you know, we had a we had a fantastic conversation. You know, I'm I'm really confident that uh, that Jim understands the the challenges and more importantly the opportunities that that Edmonton has and that Alberta has. I value the mayor's opinion. Um, I think Edmonton is incredibly fortunate to have uh, him as the mayor. The two say they've sketched out a roadmap. We'll work together on the city charter, policing, and transit issues. But it's clear Iveson is also looking for a financial commitment. Is there enough money out there now? Well, I, th I think that question is probably best addressed at the at the mayor. Um, you know, for my for to my deliver our mandates that we have today, no. Who should deliver what will also be the focus of future discussions. The mayor says the city already pays for more than its share for things like affordable housing and LRT infrastructure. The new premier vows to tackle some of these issues. And uh, we'll begin work on this immediately once I'm sworn in as the premier and have a new cabinet in place, and that uh, should take place next week. Yes. For Iveson, it's the first step in building a mature relationship. Yeah, we had the first round of a, of a very grown up conversation. I'm optimistic about where we're going to take it from here. Kendra Slagowski, Global News. Jim Prentice is meeting with Calgary Mayor Nahid Nenshi at this hour. A polling station volunteer is raising even more alarm bells about the problems that plague the PC leadership's electronic voting system. Provincial Affairs reporter Tom Vernon joins us now with more on this. Tom, the volunteer says she was asked to pass along several pins to an MLA. Yeah, Gord, when Noyella, uh, Noyella Chorus signed up to volunteer, it was made clear to her that she could only provide electronic pins to people that they had been assigned to. These pins were needed to cast a ballot in the vote. As she was working, she was brought a stack of pins and told that an exception had been made for a particular individual. She was asked to call this person and give him several numbers. During the course of the conversation, she, sa she says it became clear to her that the man was an MLA and he began asking for even more numbers. Once I had given them the list, he said, well, hold on, I've got a couple of more. Well, the couple of more turned into about seven of them. And I asked him to hold as we processed the numbers. And while I was holding on the phone with him, he was yelling to somebody to bring him more names, get him the list, bring me more names, hurry up now. Neola says she told the caller that she couldn't help him with the additional names, but she had given him more than 20 pins. Now the phone number she called traces back to Edmonton Millwoods MLA Sohal Quadri. We reached out to him today for comment, as well as members of the PC Party executive. However, we have yet to receive a response. Now, Jim Prentice was asked about problems with this electronic voting system on a Calgary radio station this morning. This is what he had to say. There's no way that, that I would ever agree to another uh, completely electronic voting system. And, um, you know, I think that uh, my, my views are that it should be an alternative mechanism of voting, but you should always also have an alternative for people to actually physically go out and uh, appear and establish their credentials and put an X on the ballot, ballot box. Now, Prentice says because his victory was overwhelming, no one is suggesting the problems put the results in question. Mm -hmm. Gord? All right. Thank you, Tom. You bet. And we should mention Jim Prentice will be a guest on Global's Morning.